Hey guys, what's up? It's Dynamunch here, and in this video, I'm here to talk to you guys about Black Ops 3. So, Black Ops 3's teaser trailer just came out a couple of hours ago, Australian time. Uh, today is the 10th of the 4th, 2015, by the way. So, you Americans are a day behind. So, Black Ops 3. Everyone's been waiting for it. Some people have been speculating that the next Call of Duty would be World at War 2, but it turned out it was Black Ops 3. I love this. Black Ops 3, or sorry, Black Ops in general, is just my favourite Call of Duty series ever. I wasn't really into the whole Modern Warfare series. You know, Ghost and Advanced Warfare, I didn't even play them. I have no interest at, with them at all. Black Ops is my favourite series of all time. And Black Ops 1 was actually my first Call of Duty ever. So I, I was basically, I grew up around Black Ops 1, so, so to speak. With Black Ops 3 coming out, it... For me, it's amazing because the multiplayer and Black Ops 2 and Black Ops 1 were amazing. The story just with the uh, normal uh, campaign was amazing. And also, another feature was zombies. Everybody loved zombies. Zombies was a fan favorite. Everyone loved zombies. And I'm pretty sure zombies is the most, uh, it's the most exciting part about Black Ops 3 in my opinion. So like I said, the teaser trailer came out a couple of hours ago Australian time, or when this video was made. And it ha it's pretty interesting. I liked it. I like the way they went with it. Maybe if they went kind of in depth or in more detail with the teaser trailer, it's it's still fine. I mean, like I'm pretty sure the normal trailer or whatever it was um, is coming out on the 26th in, uh, in April, so that's in about 16 days. So the full or I think full release trailer will be coming out on the 26th. I'm not sure what will be coming out really. Um, I should have probably gone into more depth in that when I tried to research this, but uh, yeah, I'm pretty sure the trailer is going to be coming out on the 26th or whatever next trailer is coming out. And it's honestly, it's pretty interesting. They have hinted some stuff about zombies in there. They've hinted some stuff about continuing the storyline from Black Ops 2 and 1, which is expected. You know, like they're not going to make an uh, like a next game in the series and not continue the story mode. That'd just be stupid. Uh, you can hear a lot of quotes from Black Ops 1 and Block Black Ops 2 campaign, and you can also see the numbers 115 in the teaser trailer, which hints to zombies, of course, because 115 basically revolves around zombies. If you guys don't know, 1 1 or element 115 is what started the zombies, so it's basically revolved around zombies in general, which is cool. And like the way they just went with the teaser trailer is pretty awesome. So some stuff that I wanted to talk about in this video regarding Black Ops 3 or its teaser trailer is what I hoped for it, for Black Ops 3 to be, really. For multiplayer, obviously I hope theatre mode is in it. Theatre mode is a massive, massive thing in multiplayer. It basically helps every video creator like myself with videos on YouTube and just sharing clips with your friends and stuff like that. With Call of Duty Ghosts, it didn't have theatre mode, and a lot of people hated that, so much so that they went back to Black Ops 2, um, and I'm, Ghost was a bad game anyway, so that's why they went back to Black Ops 2 as well, but theatre mode was a massive, uh, well, it, it, it was a massive part in multiplayer for uh, Black Ops 2, theatre mode, and I really hope they do uh, put it back in, because like I said, uh, it does help video creators like myself with recording videos and stuff like that and uploading. If you get a good clip and you didn't record it, then you can easily just go back and record it. And there you go, there's your video. So, theatre mode is just awesome. Plus, with montages and stuff like that, I really hope they do put more features into um, theatre mode. Like the dolly cam, that was actually pretty good. You could uh, basically command a route around the map and you could get pretty cool cinematics with it. So, you know, that could be a possibility. And... Another thing I want to talk about with Black Ops 3 is zombies. Like I said, zombies is a massive part of the game, so I really hope they um, go really in-depth with the zombies. So in-depth that they might even go into Dr. Maxis' storyline. I know in World at War, Black Ops 1 and Black Ops 2 zombies, they talked about Dr. Maxis and, you know, his background and his story. But I really want to go further into it. Like, it'd be cool if I could play as Dr. Maxis. That'd be pretty cool. Or maybe, like get the storyline behind Samantha as well. And I know, like, we already know the story behind them, but if they just went into more depth uh, with their story, that'd be awesome, because as you know, Dr. Maxis 
is kind of a shadowed player in the uh, storyline. Sure, if you go online on YouTube, you can see uh, storyline videos about it that explain the whole story. But I'd really like to, you know, see it from his perspective and why this all happened, really, and why he, him, and Dr. Richthofen decided to, you know, do the experiments and stuff like that. So, if they want as far as like to going that in depth, then that'd be awesome. Zombies would just be complete for me because. I just want to know everything about Dr. Maxis. Doc Dr. Maxis seems like such a great character to just kind of know, you know? Also with that, I just wanted to talk about the direction that Treyarch is going in with Black Ops 3. Like we, like I said, Black Ops 2 was kind of like a futuristic game, and then Ghosts and Advanced Warfare kind of took it a step further with the futuristic stuff, and like with Advanced Warfare it had exo suits, exo abilities and stuff like that. I really hope they don't have that in Black Ops 3. Black Ops 3 should just be kind of like Black Ops 2, a tiny, tiny little bit more futuristic, I'm guessing, but not as far as the exo suits. Exo, like after the first five games in Advanced Warfare, exo suits just got boring and repetitive, so there's no need to add them in. I really loved Black Ops 1 because of its like Vietnam era, I guess you could say, like the the old guns the old kill streaks and how the maps were made. I don't like futuristic. I just like good old fashioned, uh, you know, old olden day maps and games and stuff like that. So I really hope they do take it in that direction with Black Ops 3. I really doubt it because, you know, like I said, it's following in the footsteps of Black Ops 2. And because Black Ops 2 is futuristic, they're going to have to make Black Ops 3 even more futuristic. But, um, yeah, that's really all I have to talk about. So I've talked about multiplayer, I've talked about zombies, I've talked about the theme that they're going with. And, um, yeah, when the trailer, when the actual trailer is coming out, which is the 26th of April, which is, like I said, in 16 days. So, yeah, that's really all I have to, uh, I'm here to talk about, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Um, I will be pre-ordering Black Ops 3, so it's kind of a risk that I'm taking. I did pre-order Black Ops 2. Black Ops 2 was my first ever pre-order game, and my only, so I'm hoping Black Ops 3 will be my next one as well. And, um, I'll be sure to make a lot of videos on it if I do get it. A lot of zombies, a lot of multiplayer. So, it should be a good game. I'm really hoping for something really excellent here. And because it's Treyarch, I know they're going to deliver an awesome game. There are still a couple of stuff they, they could have fixed in Black Ops 1 and 2 till this day. But I really hope they knuckle down with everything and just kind of make it a solid game. Because the past two Black Ops 2s, uh, sorry, Black Ops games, they've been awesome. The story mode, the story, the campaign is excellent, the zombies is excellent, the multiplayer is excellent. So I'm really hoping with Black Ops 3 they kind of deliver and, you know, keep up their reputation as making one of the best Call of Duties ever. Like I said, the Black Ops series is my favorite series. I'm not into the whole Modern Warfare series, I'm, I'm more of a Black Ops guy. But um, yeah, these are just my thoughts. Comment down below uh, your thoughts and yeah, I hope you guys enjoy the video. And I'll see you guys hopefully in my next video. Peace.